Welcome to our tech exploration video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer eager to build an ASP.NET Core Web API service on an ARM Cortex-A7 device running Angstrom-based Linux. They want to know the best route to achieve this goal, considering the unique challenges posed by the Angstrom distribution and the ARM architecture. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To run ASP.NET Core on an ARM-based device with Angstrom Linux, we need to consider a few options. First, we can attempt to compile the necessary components like Core CLR and Core FX for the ARM Cortex-A7 device. If compiling the .NET runtime is too complex, another approach is to cross-compile your AS.NET application using .NET native targeting ARM. This could allow your application to run on the device without needing a full .NET runtime. Alternatively, you might consider generating C++ code from your ASP.NET project. This could provide a way to run your application without relying on .NET Core directly. Lastly, while compiling a different Linux distribution for the device might seem appealing, it could complicate inter-process communication between the Cortex-A7 and the FreeRTOS Cortex-M4 CPU. For additional resources, you may want to look for pre-built .NET binaries compatible with the Cortex-A7 architecture. Also, ensure you have all necessary prerequisites installed for your development environment. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To run AS.NET Core on an ARM-based Linux, start by using the portable Linux ARM runtime build of .NET Core. Ensure your .NET version is 2.0 or higher. Next, create a new MVC project with the command .NET New MVC. Then, restore the project for the Linux ARM runtime using .NET Restore Linux ARM. Publish your project with .NET Publish R Linux ARM. After that, copy the published files to your target machine and run the project. For local development, modify your project file to include Linux ARM as a runtime identifier. This allows you to use standard commands without extra parameters. When ready to deploy, simply run .NET Publish C Release R Linux ARM and use the binaries from the output directory. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To run ASP.NET Core on an ARM-based custom Linux, forget about Angstrom. It's not helpful for native dependencies. Instead, use Yocto to build your own open embedded core Linux distribution and add the necessary native dependencies during the build. You can manage dependencies with the Meta AspNet layer from Tragitashen. 
Note that mono is no longer a requirement. Once the dependencies like Libunwind and LibbyQ are available, download the latest ARM build of .NET from GitHub, unpack it, and create a symlink. Alternatively, you can compile your app for Linux ARM, but installing .NET on the target machine is simpler and cleaner. Key challenges include identifying required dependencies and compiling them for your machine. The Meta AspNet layer can help with these issues. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To run ASP.NET Core on an ARM-based Linux device, start by cross-compiling a self-contained executable on an Ubuntu machine. This method allows you to run your application on a Raspberry Pi without needing the .NET runtime installed. On your build machine, create a new console application and publish it for the Linux ARM runtime. This will generate a folder with all necessary files. After publishing, copy the generated files to your ARM device. Remember, the executable won't run on your build machine due to architecture differences. On the ARM device, install required libraries for the .NET runtime. This step is crucial for your application to run smoothly. Finally, make your application executable and run it. Note that performance may be slow, indicating it's running on a net CLR. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.